So my first tip when you're picking up a hire car here at Orlando Airport is try and do as much of it as you can before you leave your own country. So try and sort out all the insurances, try and do the quick queue jump stuff where you upload your driving license, etc. Then all you have to do really is walk all the way here, find the type of car you've rented, in this case, Alamo minivan, choose the one you like. Sort of things I'm looking for, for me, is does it have Apple CarPlay? Because that then means you can just use your phone for the sat-nav, which makes life an awful lot easier. Make sure you check all the tires are okay. And when you turn it on, make sure there are no warning lights, no engine management lights or anything. If there are, just move on to the next one and check that before you put all your luggage in. And then it's off to meet the person at the exit here, where you show them your driving license, your barcode that you would have printed out if you prepaid, and the credit card that you reserve the car with. Don't worry about scuffs and bumps like this, um, because they all have it. Just make sure you've got decent tyres. This one looks like it's had tyres fitted fairly recently. Or find a car with a very low mileage. Obviously, if you're here in Florida, white cars are going to help you deal with the heat here a little bit more than if you go for darker colours. If you're going to need child seats, uh, you pick them up here, but make sure you've watched a YouTube video before you get to America. No one can actually touch the car seats for kids or help you with it. You just need to know what to do and it's completely different to the European system of ISOFIX. It's all done via seatbelt. So again, do your homework before you get this far. You've been on a long flight, 10 hours, you're knackered. The last thing you want to do is have the Krypton factor of trying to work out how to get the kids in.